Well, there's a mixed reaction. Most people seem accepting of this change. Now, I'm told this mall opened in 1966, so lots of memories here. For me personally, I can tell you that right here, I remember a kid's Christmas party being held. Also, over here, the pet shop, seeing lots of animals at the pet shop back there, and also seeing the kids' artwork displayed at this mall, like they often do for Virginia Beach schools. The sights, sounds, and smells of a Friday night mall experience going away here at Pembroke Mall. Nearly 50 interior shops are packing up and must be out by January 31st, making way for a modern apartment complex with a hotel. I'm from Dallas and we have an apartment complex like on every corner. Some shoppers like Sydney are in favor of the facelift. I think malls are kind of turning to a thing of the past, revamping the area and you know, getting getting a change, really. I think it'd be great. Many stores are relocating, but the Flaming Walk restaurant, which has been here for about 20 years, is closing for good. Kendrell Brown is helping pack up all the delicious smells at Bath and Body Works. She said they're moving just across the street. We pretty much have like this week to pack everything up, and then next week we're um, unpacking and setting up the store. Brown says most visitors are on board with the transition. Some it's kind of like 75% excited, maybe 25% apprehensive. But when you look at, you know, some of the other areas like Newport News and Hampton, how they kind of like have like outside shops, kind of like a more elaborate version of town center. I just think it's right on trend. I think it will do really well once everything is kind of like up and running. And management stresses that the exterior larger stores will remain open, those like Kohl's and Target. We do have a list of those on our website, WTKR.com. Reporting in Virginia Beach, Angela Bohan, News 3.